I'm not buying that. I mean, an, another thing I've been told, you can fill me in more about this if mm. you want, is uh, both a you know, rush to say, oh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be free from imported oil. We could just uh, use natural gas instead. Uh, you're talking about the, uh, the coal seam <laughs> gas exploration that's happening in Australia. Yeah, and I don't know. I've heard they even want to drill in Sydney. Mm-hmm. Oh, you well, know, you can't. You 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 can't have a. You can you can object to a windmill two kilometers from your house, but if they want to drill in your yard, you have nothing, no recourse. You, it, so uh, now, Jello Biafra, you you are you're from America. You live in in San Francisco. Yet it seems you probably know more about Australian politics than a lot of Australians. How do you keep up to date? You know, by asking questions and stuff. I was just running that one by you to see mm-hmm. if it was true, and you're not objecting so far. My mom. There <laughs> was a there was an article. In the most recent issue of uh, what's normally a commercial major label poodle magazine called Rolling Stone, I don't know if they sell that down here or not, but uh, in amidst all the stuff that uh, people like me don't care about, oh, Blink-182 reformed, I don't care, but uh, life's too short to listen to boring music, but... um, the, they also usually have one or two really good muckraking political articles now, and especially I like a writer named Matt Taibbi, who's been following the the elections, the economic collapse, and who's really stealing all the money. And as he put it, uh, the economy has been so wrecked by these predators that the rich are running out of things to steal. I thought that was a great phrase. And then his more Hunter Thompson-type descriptions of things. Uh, glad that spirit is still somewhere in Rolling Stone. Uh, you get, can't even say on the air, but I like that one. And then the last <laughs> issue, which if it is available down here, it's the one with the triangle, you know, the, 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 the prism, where it comes, the rainbow comes out, you know, the the instant light of the gay flag comes out the other end of this prism on a black background. In other words, the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon cover Mm. cracked. (laughs) And, uh, but inside that, there was an article, at least in the American version, titled The End of Australia. Wow. And talking about the droughts, the floods, the dying coral and the Great Barrier Mm. Reef and... Um, I was hoping people had seen it down here so they could tell me whether they thought it was too sensationalized or not. But one thing that wasn't in the article, although it did make my jaw drop when somebody wrote this back from Australia a few days ago, was about the gas drilling mm-hmm. clear inside, you know, clear inside the city limits of Sydney or wherever. You know, we must have more <laughs> carbon. We must have more carbon. Anything to avoid putting up solar panels because we're not going to do solar panels as a national security issue to get people off of oil. Oil. No, there has to be a profit in it or we won't do it. Dangerous mentality in itself. But I don't know. Tell me if this is what they're trying to do to get at the natural gas. In America, they call it fracking yes. or hydraulic fracturing, mm-hmm. where you basically squirt all these chemicals and sand and water down in the earth to cause miniature earthquakes. You know, the effects on the ground of those be damned in hopes that you shake loose all these, what is it, magic fizzy bubbles of natural <laughs> gas that you can then use to keep burning carbon like there's no tomorrow and have the same old, uh, you know, wasteful American style lifestyle or whatever. But, 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 (laughs) but, but, the uh, the other thing that there, there was a list of some of the chemicals that go down there, and they and not only do they send down benzene, which is quite the known carcinogen, apparently even more benzene is trapped down there and comes back up along with radium and maybe other radioactive elements. So I saw one claim, and I think it might have even been in the New York Times, that now because local sewage treatment plants don't have the facilities to take the radium or the benzene or whatever out. It's going straight into major river systems in Pennsylvania that people drink out of. The claim being that there's now more radioactivity in the water around Three Mile Island, the nuclear reactor, than when they had the meltdown because of hydraulic fracturing for natural gas. And they also interviewed all these farmers and people who retired to the country who luckily somehow did have the deed to the ground below their property which is not all that common in america you don't you never think you might need to own the ground a mile below two or an oil company can take it away from you but probably uh, only the people that were building cyclone shelters or bomb shelters or something (laughs) yeah well no we're talking a little bit deeper than that but uh 
And, and they said, oh, we'll just put a little well, pump it out, pay a few pennies. It'll Nothing <laughs> will be the problem. Then they wake up and find that it has this huge lawnmower type noise going 24 hours a day. And then their pond is full of pollutants and benzene and radium and everything dies in it. And it's like, oh, it's like... yeah, just uh, it's natural gas is not the cure for uh oil wastefulness that people like the Barack star claim it is. I, I have actually, uh, I've heard you use the term the Barack star quite a lot. I'm talking to Jello Biafra on Triple J with the doctor. This is just.